Okay, today we're going to be talking about beef netting, or mutton cloth, as I've learned it's called in the UK. Uh, we're all a little more internationally wiser, we're off to a good start here. Uh, this is not going to be a video on actually cutting the beef netting, uh, making the spider webs out of them, cutting the holes in them, that's not what I'm doing. This is my first year trying this stuff, uh, so there are much better videos out there to show you how to do that. This is actually going to be a video on black light effectiveness um, for the polycotton blend of beef netting and uh, a bunch of various treatments that we have here. So just a quick couple things about an intro to beef netting here, uh, because I didn't know what any of this was whenever I started, uh, so this is all useful information for new people like me. Um, it comes in five 10 pound rolls. This is a five pound roll. My goodness, this is huge. This is like a lifetime's worth here. Um, and it kind of comes in like a stocking shape like this. You cut um, a helpful tip whenever you cut this stuff, do it outside or somewhere with a hardwood, hardwood floor, someplace that's easy to vacuum because these little fibers, when you cut them, it's they're like little pieces of chain mail. They just, you break one, they just get everywhere. Um, I had to, it looked like a snowstorm in my kitchen after I cut this, that was a mistake. So anyways, next time we'll know. Um, if you're like me in the US, you got this from Trenton Mills. Uh, they sell two types of beef netting. They sell a poly cotton blend, a 50-50 poly cotton blend, and 100% polyester. This is the 50-50 poly cotton blend. And uh, again, not knowing which one would be best, this is the one I got. So it seems like it's their original. It's been around the longest. Uh, the polyester is new. Um, so a couple of things just about the fibers themselves. Like what's the difference between poly cotton and 100% poly? Well, the primary difference for our purposes um, is that the poly cotton takes dyes and treatments. Fully synthetic fibers are incredibly difficult to dye uh, because they're not porous uh, like the natural cotton fibers are. So that's really the primary benefit of getting the poly cotton blend here. Um, the fully synthetic 100% polyester version seems to be for our purposes as just from the, the various types of fibers, properties of the fibers, uh, seems to be better for us um, making these webs. Uh, polyester stretches more, it's very UV resistant, uh, it's weather resistant, and it is a lot cheaper. So, you know, which one is, it, is more worthwhile to us? Uh, if these uh, dyes that I'm trying here increase the black light effectiveness of the poly cotton blend, then despite all of polyester's benefits, uh, this this stuff may be the better way to go um, if you're putting a black light on it. So I guess we'll see. Uh, the process I used was very similar for all four of these, um, except for the very bottom one, which I'll get to. Uh, I soaked most of these in a laundry tub as hot water as I could get um, for about ten minutes with the with the treatment. Um, for the bottom one here, the whitewash. That one was a process. Um, it, the, I followed the instructions to a T. I boiled the water and kept it boiling while the treatment was going. Um, that created a whole other host of issues that I'll get to. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how that works out. All right, so let's take a look at the individual ones that I have right here. So at the very top. I have my control sample. So that's the original, that is untreated. That's enough, I just cut straight off of the roll and uh, we'll see how that lights up under black light just by itself. Now the interesting part about these, uh, these treatments is that they ask to, or they tell you to put in a little teaspoon or tablespoon of detergent with them. Uh, so some of you may see a problem with my experiment already. Um, if I'm putting this stuff and detergent together. Well, detergent itself is already known as a, you know, UV enhancer. So how can I tell if it's the treatment or the detergent um, doing the thing? So I did a separate one with just detergent. So the second one down is going to be just 10 minutes of soaking in super hot water with detergent. Now we're getting into the treatments. This one is going to be writ whitener and brightener. Um, this is the one I see a lot of people recommend. Uh, so this is the one where it has, you know, some of the treatment in it plus some detergent. We'll see if that works out any better than, than just a plain detergent. And then this bottom one here, oh, this, this one, Rit White Wash. 
So I gotta have to say something about this. I really hope this one doesn't win because I don't wanna have to do this again. Uh, this stuff was absolutely noxious um, to make. Like send, send the kids outside to play, uh, send, send your wife or husband or significant other or roommates like off to the mall or the bar or wherever their area, their favorite spot of respite is. Um, this one, it smells like, my house smells like I gave someone a perm with two part epoxy. Um, it just lasted like days. Uh, it was, it was awful. I had, to, I almost had to sleep on the couch. It was, it was bad. So, I mean, maybe this will win, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but that's the, uh, those are our four contestants that we have. We have the original, we have detergent, we have the whitener and brightener plus detergent, and we have the writ whitewash plus detergent. So, um, in a minute here, I'm going to shut off the lights, put on a couple black lights, and see which one works. Okay, I've gotten everything set up here. Um, and just, uh, just to be fully transparent, this is what I'm using. I'm using a 30 watt LED black light. I'm just gonna sweep it over those uh, the four there. Uh, I haven't I haven't done this yet, uh, so um, a little bit nervous about what's about to happen. Uh, I don't know which one of these are gonna work, if any. So let's uh, plug it in and see. Okay. All right, so we can see at the top here, that's our original. You can still see the cream color to it. Um, I mean, it does light up, um, but it's very pale. Using detergent itself actually is a, is a way step up, big step up from uh, just plain old poly cotton. Um, and then the whitener and brightener, I mean, I can't really see too much of a difference between just the detergent and the whitener and brightener plus detergent. So I'm gonna call it a, I'm gonna call it even on that one. Um, but, yeah, man, this is, that's what I was hoping would not happen. Um, <laughs> so the bottom one is obviously the brightest by a long shot, not even close, no contest. Um, and that is the noxious <laughs> writ um, whitewash. Wow, okay, that is, that's gonna be a process. Okay, so, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's it for the polycotton treatments. Now the big question is, will a pure polyester, 100% polyester uh, beef netting be more effective than this writ whitewash? Um, I've asked uh, some people on the Halloween forums to uh, Facebook groups to send me a, a sample because I don't feel like paying 35 bucks for um, you know just a sample uh, that I may or may not use. So hopefully that comes through. I'll update this video if um, that happens. Um, but for right now, it looks like this whitewash is the clear, clear winner. Um, so again, I just have to say, clear out the house for a day or two. Um, make whatever excuse you want, or keep them, you know, if you really don't like whoever you're living with, go ahead and keep them around, it's fine. Um, but this stuff is gonna be uh, very noxious. Um, all right, so there we go. I uh, hope that is useful for everyone. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks. And I'm back with a quick little epilogue here. Uh, for all of you, it's been about 15 seconds. For me, it's been about two and a half weeks. At the beginning of my video, I mentioned that I didn't have a sample of the full polyester uh, beef netting. Well, someone on Facebook was very kind enough to send me uh, about a yard's worth um, so I can get the full comparison here. Uh, so we have our original at the top here. We have our original uh, cotton poly beef netting. Below that is the white wash um, that kind of won the black light contest a few seconds ago. And now this is the polyester sample, full polyester. You can see it's really white, really white. 
and it's actually not as stretchy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be significantly stretchier than the poly cotton blend. Uh, this is actually only about 10% stretchier. Uh, I grabbed the ends, pulled it as tight as I could, and only got a couple extra inches out of this, um, which is, yeah, it's, it's more surprising. Because um, I thought for sure, you know, this would be the most economical way to go. If, you know, you got the polyester, you get more per pound, and you'd be able to cover more area. But I don't know. Uh, so we'll see how this turns out with the, the blacklight experiment. I'm gonna put this down here, get my blacklight ready, and uh, let's see which one's the better. All right, I'm gonna get my polyester set up here. Remember we have the original undyed polycotton, the polycotton treated with whitewash, and polyester. And the verdict is, wow, I am surprised again. I thought for sure the polyester would put up a bigger fight here. Okay, so uh, I hope this is getting uh, you know caught in the camera here, how bright this is. The the poly cotton blend on the top, the original one, undyed. Uh, it's again, it's still fluorescing. It has kind of a, um, you know, it still has that creamish hue to it. Uh, it's not really a white glow. This whitewash one is just insanely bright. It does kind of have like a greenish tint to it, if that matters at all to anyone. Um, but it's still, you know, crazy bright. And then the polyester at the bottom here is. Uh, honestly, it's kind of indistinguishable from the poly cotton blend. Uh, I thought there'd be a bigger difference uh, just, because of, just because of how white it is. Yeah, so um, either if you are not treating them, uh, the poly cotton blend or the polyester will do, uh, will do fine. But if you really want maximum blacklight effectiveness, this is just, uh, you can't beat it right now. Um, the poly cotton blend with the whitewash treatment. Okay, that settles that. I'm, I'm glad I did this. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. I hope this is useful to y'all. Catch you in the next video.